everyone and welcome to another episode here on the My Gardener channel. Hopefully you all are going to enjoy. Today we're going to be doing a seed saving tutorial. So it is a really quick seed saving tutorial, but I think it's going to help you all out because there's one tip in here that's really going to make or break the success of your seed saving uh, mission, <laughs> I guess. So a lot of times people want to save pepper seeds and they come to me saying, you know, how do I save pepper seeds? Is there a specific way that I should be saving pepper seeds? And it's shocking because peppers are actually one of the easiest in my opinion. They, as we get into it, uh, you'll see that they require very little effort at all to save pepper seeds. And so uh, they're ones that I always recommend beginners try to save because you can, um, you can do it so simply and there's really not a whole lot of steps to it. So that's why it's gonna be quick. So come on in close, check out these peppers here. We're gonna save the seeds and I'm gonna show you all uh, the, the secret to making sure that your seed saving is successful. So, come on in close. All right, so we have our peppers here and I want to show you all the secret. And the secret is finding ripe peppers. Oftentimes you go to the grocery store or you go to the farmer's market or maybe even you're growing yourself and you pick a pepper that looks something like this. This is what we'd all call a sweet banana pepper. And a lot of times you see bell peppers. Um, I don't have any but with me right now, but um, I do at the house. And a lot of times you see a green bell pepper. And what you don't know is that if you get it from the store or the farmer's market, oftentimes the green bell peppers are supposed to be uh, a orange or a red or a yellow bell pepper, but they come green. And that's just because peppers are edible at any stage. However, not the, the seeds are not viable at any stage. So when a pepper is uh, basically like this, this is just a yellow banana pepper. This is what we would all eat. We'd pickle this, uh, you know, throw it in salads or whatever. And this is very delicious. It's a crisp, sweet pepper. And you'd think, oh yeah, this is ripe. However, this is what they're supposed to look like. That's right. Banana peppers, believe it or not, will actually turn red when they're ripe. This is a banana pepper. These are off the exact same plant. Uh, this one is I, one I just cut open, and I wanted to cut this open here for you to show you all the difference. The difference is the fact that the seeds are not as mature. You're going to notice that the seeds look almost the same. However, there's a big difference between a fully ripe pepper and a not fully ripe pepper. These might still have some mature seeds, but not nearly as many as one that was literally ready to fall off the plant. So, now, this, now the easiest part comes to how do I save the seed, because that's the secret. Once you find a ripe pepper, you have a fully ripe pepper. That's the only thing you need to know. The rest comes with this. You just take your knife, Cut your pepper, and now notice here's another here's another tip to make sure that your peppers are ripe. Your pepper, if if it's truly truly 100% ripe, it should it should be kind of leathery. It should not be super crisp. See this right here? Listen. See how it has a lot of water content. And now if I was to do that with this, you know, now I already cut it, but again, you know, it's. Here, that makes almost no sound at all. And that's because this has, um, you know, it has ripened. Then all we have to do is we literally just take a plate or a, uh, just a cardboard plate or, you know, paper plate, wax paper or just fine. And you just take the seeds and you just put them on a plate. I find it's really easy to get the seeds out when the pepper is ripe just by twisting. And you literally just twist it like that, grind it back and forth, and all the seeds will drop right out onto the, onto the plate or the paper towel or whatever you're using. And then all you have to do is let them dry for about uh, three to four days. I let them dry even maybe up to five days to make sure they're 100% right. I'm gonna throw them into a, uh, you know, an airtight container uh, or an airtight bag so that they, uh, they can last for 
the next growing season. And it's literally as simple as that. There is no fermenting. People are like, oh, do I have to ferment these? Like I do tomato seeds? Nope, not at all, just like this. And uh, so there's no fermenting and there's no, uh, you know, there's no rocket science to this. It's just put seeds onto a plate, let them dry and make sure the peppers are 100% right. And that's really all you have to do to make sure that you have a successful pepper seed uh, harvest so that you can grow your own seed, so you can grow your own vegetables from seed next year. So there you go, hopefully you all enjoyed. I hope you all uh, learned something new. Hopefully this was not too complicated because seriously, I did not overcomplicate it, I don't think. But if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can always post them down in the comments box below and you know I'll answer them. Also, we have one last thing for you. Cindy and I are super excited about a mailing list. That's right, we have a mailing list. And for everyone that has been asking for the mailing list, the mailing list is here. So we've been getting constantly bombarded by people wanting a better way to get information or get updates whenever we have a new uh, blog post or a new video series, different stuff like that, or even a big sale in the store. We have uh, basically come up with a way to get you that, those, uh, that information in other ways than social media. So if you have an email that you'd like to receive updates on, all you have to do is go to mlgardener.com and you're going to see up at the top that says join here for free gardening information uh, and basically just put in your email that you want to receive updates on and when you click uh, enter or whatever it goes into our system and then we send you out our newsletters, our little uh, blog posts, our blurbs that we might have on sale, uh, like seeds on sale. Um, it will not be like a crazy amount, uh, it will just be every once in a while. We will try to have a bi-monthly newsletter and that's kind of going to be like things that are happening within the month, so just like a newsletter. Um, but then we also might do something like a seed saving email where it has all of our seed saving videos and so they're all in one place where it's a little nugget that you can digest at your own pace and your own free time and you can come back to later and you won't lose it as long as you don't delete the email. So uh, I hope you all will enjoy that. Cindy and I have put a lot of work into it and we've definitely, uh, we've definitely fine tuned it to be really easy for everyone. So definitely go do that. Oh, and also if you do sign up on the mailing list, one special perk that we've gotten for you is that we have, uh, as many of you know, the Orange Rusellini seeds. And those of you that have been wanting to find out when the Orange Rusalini seeds will be available, we're going to tell people first on the mailing list 24 to 48 hours before they're available on mgarder.com slash store. So if you are uh, someone that wants to get those seeds, it might be a good opportunity for you to get ahead of the game by going to mgarder.com, signing up on our mailing list so that when the seeds are available, we can let you know before we let everybody else know. We're not picking favorites. <laughs> okay, okay, we are picking favorites. So go sign up. Uh, I promise it won't be crazy, like I said, but it will help you grow food better. It will help you grow your garden better, and it will definitely help you grow big or go home. So I hope you all will enjoy, and I hope you all are growing big or going home. I'll talk to you all later. See ya. Bye.